गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट एंड वेलकम टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर फर्स्ट इन क्लास सेवन नाउ इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड द सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर एंड एप्लीकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर नाउ द फर्स्ट पॉइंट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर नाउ सॉफ्टवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर is used to describe all the instructions and programs which are given to a uh, perform a specific task software is used to describe all instructions and programs which are given to a computer to perform a specific task that is called software software can be broadly divided into two categories namely system software and application software now first we see a system software system software includes all programs that control the working of computer and helps it to function properly huh? without system software we cannot run the computer means huh? first we have to install the system software then we can operate the computer huh? and then we can operate the the programs means this system uh, software or programs can control the whole computer system so this system software is further divided into four categories first operating system second is language translator third is device driver and fourth is system utilities now first we see the operating system an operating system is an interface between hardware and software huh? operating system what is the operating system uh, operating system it is the interface interface means intermediate or it is a, a, a medium that can handle hardware and software both huh? so it is the medium between the hardware and software it is responsible for managing and allocating a memory setting processor time managing disk space and interfacing with peripheral devices connected to the computers means this operating system manages uh, managing all allocating memory uh, different types of memory which are available in the computer that all memory is managing or allocating uh, setting the uh, processor time means this operating system set the process time of computer uh, and manage the disk space means can maintain the different uh, sections of disk uh, and also handle all the peripher peripherals means all the uh, hardware parts which are connected to the computer so uh, all these uh, things are responsible or managed by the operating system when a computer is switch on the operating system is loaded in the memory this process is known as booting huh? when we first time switch on the computer huh? that time computer takes some time so uh, in that time computer can load the whole operating system in his memory and that process is called as a booting for example windows linux unix mac operating system and android operating system all these are the operating system now second language translator what is the language translator we know that a computer only understand the binary language huh? correct huh? that is correct means computer only understand a binary language that is zeros and one so uh, that is called as a machine language that binary language is called as a machine language and it is difficult to write a program in machine language yes for Uh, us means we are the users it is very difficult to write the uh, whole program in zeros and ones so this machine language is very difficult to write a program this led to development of high level language programming language so due to writing the difficulties in machine language uh, uh, there is a invention or development of high level languages high level programming languages which is resembled to english language means resembled to english language means it is 
just same like a English word huh? that we can use for programming. The programs which are written in high level languages need to be translated into machine language code. Means uh, computer can understand only machine language. That's why uh, whatever the programs we write in high level languages, that programs are uh, translated into machine language. Then and then computer can understand the commands. The tools that performs the translation of computer program is known as language translator. Means uh, one of the tool or program uh, that helps to translate the computer program is known as language translator. That is called as a language translator. Hmm? The translator translates the computer program with the help of compilers, interpreters and assemblers. Means the translator translates the computer program. So whatever the programs we uh, write uh, in high level language, that programs are translated with the help of compilers, interpreters and assemblers. Means compilers, interpreters and assemblers are the translators. So, uh, the next point is language translators. Which are the language translators? Compilers, interpreters and assemblers. These are the language translators. First, we see compiler. A compiler translates a program written in high level language into a machine language code. Means, compiler it is a translator program. Uh, what uh, he, uh, what the compiler is doing, he just translate uh, the uh, program written in a high level language into machine language code, and it scan the entire program at once and generate an intermediate code called machine code or object code. Means what the compiler is do, compiler scan the whole program at only once at only one time uh, and generate the machine code or the object code and once the program is compiled the machine code save and execute directly means after scanning that uh, program uh, the, the machine code is saved in the computer memory and uh, computer can understand that instruction or command that is called compiler. Now, next one is interpreter. What is interpreter? An interpreter is a program that executes the instruction written in a program one by one. Means, what the interpreter is doing? Interpreter is also translator program. But, how it uh, executes? It executes the instruction written in a program one by one. Means, line by line, he can uh, uh, translate what are the programs written in high level language that uh, programs lines are translated into machine code by line by line first he uh, uh, translate the first line huh? the first line is executed then he uh, translate the second line the second line is executed then uh, he uh, translate the third line the third line is executed means the interpreter can uh, execute the instruction line by line. The role of interpreter is to execute the source code directly without creating any machine code. Means interpreter directly execute the high level language program code huh, without creating any machine code. That is called interpreter. The now next one is assembler. The main role of assembler is to um, translate a program written in the assembly language huh, into machine language. Huh? What is the main role of assembler? To translate the program written in assembly language into machine language. So that is called assembler. And the libraries and headers huh, contains the function which are necessary for the execution of program. And these functions are linked to a program by uh, a software called linker. Means, uh, uh, when we write the programs, huh, that programs contains the libraries and headers huh, and their function which are necessary for the execution of program. If we write the uh, libraries and headers in the program, huh, that libraries and headers uh, 
contains the function function means their definition are written in the function so that functions executes the program and that functions are are linked with the program and that program is called as a linker so it is the assembler now next one next topic is device driver and now what is device driver every device such as printer display unit mouse and keyboard huh? assemble with the system unit assemble with the system unit means they are attached with the computer huh? and they needs to have a driver program means all these printer keyboard mouse scanner camera all these the hardware parts are these are assemble means attached with the computer and they need a driver program without driver program they cannot run so the driver program is a responsible for controlling the device connected to a computer means whatever the hardware devices connected to the computer the driver program handle this uh, uh, hardware parts or operate this uh, hardware parts the driver program that converts the input output instructions of the operating system to a format that is understood by the device means what this device driver are doing they just uh, they are the uh, uh, in, um, uh, intermediate means uh, they are the mediums uh, what they the instruction given to these hardwares they just translate that instruction uh, into machine code or uh, uh, machine code and giving the command to the this hardware parts means uh, this is the uh, program uh, device driver it is the program now next one is system utilities what is system utilities uh, it performs the common but essential task that supports an operating system it performs the common but essential task that supports an operating system now which are the uh, support task the first is disk defragmentation program disk defragmentation program what is the uh, defragmentation uh, see when a computer is used regularly files are created and erased on the hard disk frequently means uh, we can use the computer we can make many files uh, uh, we can delete many files also so uh, in this time what happens the hard disk is frequently used means that program is stored in the hard disk again we can delete from the hard disk means the hard disk is frequently used so what happens this result in hard disk which has files scattered all over it means uh, we can store the uh, files in the uh, hard disk again we can delete the different files from the hard disk means uh, what happens the result is that the all the files which are present in the hard disk they are scattered all over and such a disk is called as a fragmented disk hmm? that disk is called as a fragmented disk so uh, such a fragmented disk uh, we have to defragment means file defragmentation utilities are used to relocate all the data on the disk in a proper order means uh, all these scattered files we have to relocate uh, in one space so in proper order that's why we have to do this defragmentation program now next uh, system utility is these programs copy data these programs copy data from computers hard disk to backup media system utility uh, system utilities means uh, these are the small small programs what these small programs are doing they just copy the data from computer hard disk to backup media uh, which are the backup media such as cds dvds and usb drives usb drives means pen drives uh, or external hard disks all these are the uh, backup media we can store our information or data in that uh, backup media with the help of system utilities uh, there are two types of backups that occur in the system full backup Huh? full backup and what is full backup full backup means uh, it is a mirror image huh? which is made up of entire hard disk means your hard disk uh, mirror image is uh, backup by full backup and it contains the 
uh, whole uh, backup so which can copies only those files that have been created or changed since the last backup huh? the first one is full backup and second is in incremental backup these are the two types of backup huh? in full backup uh, we can uh, make the mirror image of the entire hard disk and uh, in incremental backup which copies only the those files that have been created uh, earlier or in the last time so this is the system utility now next one is antivirus programs antivirus programs means vaccines uh, what these antivirus programs are doing see these are the computer programs antivirus programs are uh, the computer programs which examine all the files on a disk uh, what they are doing the uh, antivirus program examine or check all the files which are present on the hard disk uh, to look for the virus codes virus means uh, the virus codes they looking uh, and once they can find the virus code they can destroy those viruses if they found uh, for example which are the antivirus programs uh, norton antivirus macafe avast uh, um, all these are the antivirus programs now these utilities are used to reduce the size of files they can reduce the size of file by uh, as much as 50% so these are the antivirus programs now next one is file compression utilities sorry uh, file compression utility these utilities are used to reduce the size of files they can reduce the size of file by as much as 50% without losing the data huh? Uh, which are the popular uh, compression utilities winzip and vinara etc these are the file compression utilities huh? uh, what these file compression utilities are doing they just uh, if we uh, we have a, a large size of file huh? and we have to compress that file or reduce the size of that file that time we can use this file compression utility so all these are the uh, ut utilities programs now next one is application software what is application software application software is a set of programs developed to perform a specific task such as payroll library management time table management etc means application software is a set of programs developed to perform a specific task specific task just like uh, uh, all these examples uh, library management time table management Uh, means uh, these are the application program uh, again which are the application programs just like uh, microsoft word uh, excel all these are also application program so let us study some of the commonly used software in brief first word processor it is a application software this software is used to create edit format and print the documents means word processor Uh, it is the application software and this software is used for creating a word document uh, after creating we can edit that document we can format that format that document format means we can make uh, bold italic underline paragraph all these are called as a format and we can once that uh, word document is completed we can take the print out of that document Huh? now uh, the examples of word processors are microsoft word writer and word perfect these are the examples of word processor application softwares now second is electronics spreadsheet huh? it is application program electronics spreadsheet is application program that helps the user to arrange data in a tabular form to arrange the data in tabular form tabular form means we can make the tables and rows hmm? uh, to show our data so this electronic spreadsheet used for making result monthly report yearly calculations etc for example uh, microsoft excel we can use as a electronic spreadsheet visicalc huh? lotus 1 2 3 these are the examples of electronic spreadsheet now next one is image editor it is useful in image 
processing it is useful in image processing image processing means what it is used to create edit manipulate enhance and transform the images and graphics for example we can modify or change the image their size their background their color their pixel size all these things we can do in the image processing means in the image editor now which are the image editor for example adobe photoshop corel draw huh? uh, we are going to take our photos in the uh, photoshop huh? so that photoshop uh, man can edit our photo so they are using the image editor programs now next one is database management system means dbms dbms is a set of program dbms is a set of program that used to store modify and extract large amount of data and information huh? means this dbms what this dbms is doing they just used to store your all information just like name address phone number uh, your result marks huh? any kind of information they can store huh? also they can modify this information or huh? and uh, extract large amount of data means they can store large amount of such a information huh? so uh, that program is called as a database management system now dbms also provides data access means if once we can create this data uh, in data, uh, database management system uh, after a long time we can also access the same data uh, again what the facilities is provided by this dbms they can provide the integrity in data integrity facility means they can store all kind of data in a same database that is called data integrity uh, recovery of database Uh, recovery of database means uh, after failure or restore uh, it from backup files and maintain the database security means it also provide the recovery of database means uh, one of the time your computer is uh, uh, damaged or your hard disk is corrupted that time this database management system provides the recovery of your database or recovery of your data so these are the facilities provided by the database management system which are the database management systems uh, for example oracle oracle is database management system microsoft access uh, it is also a database management system so these are the database management systems now next one is multimedia and presentation software multimedia and presentation software a presentation graphics program a presentation graphics program is a software which is used to display information in the form of slide show yes we can use the ppt slides means this is the presentation software and that presentation software uh, are used to display your information your thoughts uh, in the form of slide show so you can insert the audio video clips in the in this slides to make your presentation effective means if you want to share your thoughts or your information to the public that time we can make the ppt slides eh? and in that ppt slides we can insert audio and video clips for example uh, microsoft powerpoint or in place these are the examples of multimedia and presentation software now next one is desktop publishing software desktop publishing means dtp software is a creation of printed materials is the creation of printed materials using a suitable page layout huh? Huh? means dtp desktop publishing software means dtp dtp software is used for uh, making the printed material printed material means just like uh, your uh, wedding cards invitation cards uh, journals newspaper magazines brochures catalogs so all these different types of design or layout books uh, we can design in the uh, desktop publishing software means dtp software means all these uh, things we can design in dtp software for example uh, 
uh, Quark Express, Adobe Design, Adobe Page Maker. These are the examples of DTP softwares. Now, next one is recovery software. The process of recovering the data from corrupted, damaged, fill or inaccessible secondary storage media. Secondary storage media. Which are the secondary storage media? Just like pen drive, CD, hard disk, external hard disk. These are the secondary storage media. Uh, if these media are fell or corrupted or damaged, uh, from that our information we can recover, recover by the recovery software. Now, uh, which are the recovery softwares? For example, Firestone, iCare Data Recovery, and Stellar Data Recovery. These are the recovery softwares. Now, next one is. Now, I hope uh, you had enjoyed the today's session. Thank you friends and this is the end of this chapter. Now we will come the next chapter on the next session. Thank you.